Hello everyone. Just thought I would give you a little taste of what I got up to last weekend with my sister Kate. We went to um, see the lovely Kelly and Nick and mum and dad and the absolutely gorgeous Jeff, who's their dog. Uh, we went to the Lay Family Yarn Woolly Retreat for the weekend and it was wonderful. We had a fantastic time. It's the first time I've ever been away with my sister on our own. We've been away with children before, but never been away, just the two of us. And we had a lovely time. So I left here on the Thursday. Uh, no, no, I didn't. That was a complete lie. I left here on the Friday morning with Andrew and our brother-in-law, John. And they were going to the motorbike show at the NEC. So that was timed pretty well for us. So they dropped me off at Birmingham International and then went off to see the show. And Andrew was winding me up, telling me about three hours later that he still hadn't got into the show yet. Well, he had. He was just trying to wind me up and make me feel guilty. It didn't work. Uh, I got the train then from Birmingham International up to Telford. And when I got on the train, the train was leaving Birmingham International. So I managed to get myself a really nice seat by the window, set myself all up. I got my iPad, I downloaded some YouTube videos, vlogs, um, and I got myself all set up, my knitting out, uh, sat by the window with the table, everything was perfect. We got to Birmingham and the train started to get a bit busier, which I was expecting. And I'm going to say a gentleman came and sat opposite me and I could smell something. I thought, what is that smell? And I thought either he's been out on a works Christmas do or out on the lash the night before and he's seriously hung over or he's been drinking a bit this morning. And it was 11 o'clock, maybe. So he sat himself down and he must have been late 50s, early 60s, <laughs> or looked like it with his shades on and takes his rucksack out and out comes a litre bottle of vodka with about that much left in the bottom. I thought, oh Lord, here we go. And then he kept, not on purpose, but kept sort of hitting me under the table with his foot. I thought this is gonna be fun all the way to Telford. And then the um, train conductor came around checking tickets and looked at mine, was fine, looked at this chaps and said to him, oh, are you going sort of, to Hollyhead, I think the train was going to. He said, are you going to Hollyhead? This guy couldn't talk, he, could, he wasn't coherent at all, but he managed to mumble a yes. And the conductor said, well, you need to be in the front two carriages, they're the ones that are going to Hollyhead. Um, so off he toddles to, uh, to the front two carriages and then the conductor turned to me and said, it doesn't really, but I just thought you wanted a bit of peace and quiet. Bless him. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. I really thanked him for that one. And so I had a nice peaceful journey up to Telford. Um, Kate met me at the station with Dave, husband, and they drove us to our little cottage that Kate had arranged, which was absolutely perfect. It was really close to um, Lay Family Yarn, maybe about a two minute walk, if that. Right by the river was at one side. I've got loads of footage that I'm going to put in for you if, um, after I've done the speaky bit at the beginning. Um, it was perfect and it had absolutely everything you could need in there. We came back and I said to Kate, I really fancy a coffee. I'd forgotten to bring coffee with me. Open the cupboard doors. There was instant coffee, fresh coffee, coffee, pods, coffee, decaf coffee, teas. Oh, just everything you could think of. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, so we spent an afternoon in the cottage the first day. We'd popped in to see Kelly and Nick just to sort of say hello. So we spent the afternoon watching Christmas films, had a little glass of wine and a mince pie and watched Christmas films, did some knitting. And then we met up with the rest of, or most of the rest of the group in the pub at six o'clock. And Kelly wasn't wrong when she said the food portions are huge. Um, so we were very well fed there. And then we tootled off home, um, and I think we've watched another Christmas film, if I'm not mistaken. We've gone through loads this weekend. And then we had the first day of the retreat um, on the Saturday. So we got there probably for about nine o'clock and Kelly was on hand with teas and coffees and flapjacks and biscuits. So we've been extremely well, too well fed <laughs> over the weekend. Um, she was couldn't do enough host to host when she was hosting. It was absolutely fantastic. 
and we just spent the entire day um, chatting, drinking tea, eating cake and biscuits, uh, had amazing lunch, a really fantastic lunch, just relaxing and having a really lovely time. And then Nick in the afternoon showed us how to dye up our skein of yarn. Now, he um, they'd asked us to bring an inspiration picture. So I'd chosen one in the colours and I will put put it on here so you can see what the colours I was with. But very typical me, light pinks, purples, whites, all the pale colours. And Nick suggested the colours for me to use to, to make the skein up. And this is what I made. Still all nicely wrapped up. You can see the little, little sprinkles in it. I was really, really pleased with it. Um, it came out exactly as I was hoping it would do. We are looking at possibly going again next year. And I think I will be a little bit more adventurous next year and go for some brighter colours. I, I think I was probably the one who did the lightest colour. Um, I'll show you what the others produced in a second. Uh, but I think doing another one, I think I would probably be a little bit more adventurous. But this was perfect. And when we had um, everybody else had done had made their own uh, skeins up had dyed their own skeins and when we had got our skein we also got a little selection of everybody else's which I thought was absolutely amazing uh, let me see if I can find Kate's one I think this was Kate's one so Kate went completely opposite to me and went quite dark greens um, this one was um, Franz and she brought a Care Bear, I think it was her daughter's Care Bear as inspiration and it, she absolutely nailed it. It was spot on and then there was a lovely lady called Judy who was sat opposite us who had an, a tree picture for inspiration and this was her tree and she was delighted with it. So there was, there's the others. That's a nice one as well. Lots of just really fantastic. I think that one was bees. She went light as well. There's my one. So I'm the lightest of the bunch. We also had loads of time to shop. Um, I didn't pick up a huge amount. I there was a little bit of a sort of a raffly type thing at uh, the end, and I won this one, which I think was one of the tester ones and then i picked up this gorgeousness i don't know can you see the sparkle in it i'm not sure if it's picking it up or not this will be a scarf that one and then the only other thing that i bought really when i was there i got a few of these which is undyed and it's got Stellina in it. Again, sparkle. Not sure if it's picking it up. And I am going, or I am making, the Sweet Shop Blanket by Laura Penrose. And I am here so far. And it was so funny because I usually knit fairly quickly and it took me the entire afternoon. I didn't even finish the square, I don't think when we were there and I managed to finish it that night. So that was just the one square. It was a, a combination of me not reading the pattern properly, getting distracted by everybody else going, oh, look, that's shiny. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah. And looking at, I've come back and my Ravelry queue is horrifically long <laughs> of all the things that I wanted to make. So on the, on the Saturday night, we went back to the pub again um, and had a lovely meal there again. And then on the Sunday, we were back at um, the retreat for about 10 o'clock, a little bit of a line on the Sunday. And Kelly made some lovely soup and some absolutely gorgeous cheese scones. And we had our, we had our yarns and just again, spent the afternoon chatting um, 
and maybe a little bit more shopping <coughs> not and then we left at about two o'clock ish i think on the sunday went back to the cottage kate went for a little walk around i just went straight back to the cottage and again watched christmas films and just relaxed and chilled out and then it was back home on monday morning and no no train dramas so i'm going to put some footage in now i'll sort of mix it all from start or hopefully go sort of chronologically from start to um to where we finished off and you can see the cottage and you can see us doing a little bit of yarn dyeing uh, and i hope you find it interesting but i will be back very soon with vlogmas day one uh, goodness knows what i'm going to talk about but i'm sure i'll find something because i've just witted to you for 10 odd minutes now so i will speak to you all or see you all or chat to you all very soon bye for now bye Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me, we are off to the pub. First night, we've had a lovely afternoon. We've been popped in to see Kelly at Lay Family. We've had cake and lemonade we've been very good but then we came back and we've had a glass of wine and a mince pie and watched christmas films with the fire on it's an electric fire but it's really nice and we are off, off to the pub to meet up with everyone else Some weird light going on here look there's, the, there's our cottage i will show you around properly when i come back let me spin you around <laughs> spin you around the wrong way <laughs> hang on a sec let me find kate I think you can see her in this light. I'm trying not to fall over the step. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> right, we are heading down that way to the pub <laughs> with knitting. quite early before Kate just had a quick look outside and it's really icy outside yeah. I'll take some pictures later we don't get that uh, very much in Cornwall at all I love that sort of crisp oh crisp crunch of the leaves underneath your feet let me see if I can have a get a quick look outside the back garden one second I don't think you can see it very much I'm sure you've all seen frost before, but it's a bit of a novelty for me. Let me show you around my way in. This is a little kitchen. It's got absolutely everything you need, more than more than enough. Look at the, all the things in the cupboard. And I was desperate. I forgot to bring coffee. I was desperate for a cup of coffee last night. And um, I found a pot of fresh coffee. This has all been left for us. Chocolate bars, biscuits, juice. Look. Fresh coffee, coffee, hot chocolate. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Lollies. And then even for the dogs, I've taken a couple of these for... Um, Jeff, you bear with me, I'm not quite awake yet this morning. Cup of tea waiting for me. Um, yeah, lovely. So this is our little kitchen and then we have our living room. Put my cup of tea down. Oop. That's where I was last night, pictures from last night into the garden. And I'll show you upstairs when Madam gets up. She's still in bed. But I love that. It's, um, it's, uh... Hang on, where's the button? Instant fire.
show you that side. So this is where we were last night. Kate's up there swearing at me, which luckily you can't hear. How crispy it is this morning. It's lovely. It's really pretty. So we walk up here, this path here, and Lee family is behind here, just in there. We will have a proper walk around tomorrow when we get the chance. Absolutely perfect spot. And there's our little cottage. And there. There's the mill. Couldn't be closer really. Gorgeous the light is. Feel crunchy. A little bit. <laughs> Euphemism. <laughs> God, it's cold. <laughs> That's where we had the scones and cake yesterday in there. It's in some artistic shops. Scary looking thing that. Oh, sorry about sniffling. I am absolutely frozen. Well, my hands are. I think we're the first ones here because we are going up there. Someone said we would be late. Someone down there.
It's standing under the tree with no leaves on to try and stop getting rained on and I'm standing underneath the bridge and <laughs> get big drops of water on my head. I'm just waiting for the taxi to take us to the station and then we're off home. <laughs> 